you know, but we were talking about like uh, scoffers and uh, the things people say, you know, I, and I wanted to, this scripture was on my spirit because people don't understand that you, the, your mouth, man, th that mouth is a, uh, matter of fact, let's get Ecclesiastes 5 and 2 first and then we'll get there. You know, because you got to understand that uh, not not listening, it, it can get you in uh, what's going on. Uh, what not listening can get you into many troubles, man. Not listening can, uh, and that, that goes with even things in the world, man. Talking back, uh, uh, getting loud with your supervisor at work, talking, snapping back at your moms or your pops. You gotta be able, you gotta watch your mouth, man. That's right. Ecclesiastes five verse two: Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before your help. That's right. So you, you can't be, be, and that's the thing, man. These people, they be hasty to utter the things before the Lord, man. Before the men of the Lord, Lord willing. You know, they, they be hasty, man. They just want to uh, spit with the, matter of fact, I think you can start at one. You can start at one. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of your house, mm -hmm. and be more ready to hear mm -hmm. than to give the sacrifice of food. That's right. So be more ready to hear than to hear the sacrifice of food. That's the main point I want. We can keep going, but you know, these people be, be ready to hear to the sacrifice of food, man. You know, and uh, the sacrifice of food is, is, is the ways of this world. You all doctrines, the things that y'all believe, like that idiot on the comment board. That was a uh, that was a, a sacrifice of a fool, man. Come. Not knowing what the hell he was talking about. Come. You know that's what it says. Uh, you are not knowing the scriptures, man. Come. All right, go ahead, brother. For they consider not that they do evil. They consider not that they do evil, man. Come. So he don't think that he gonna have to account for. Hey, shit, the Lord might have he'll delete that comment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He don't he don't he don't understand that the Lord heard that. The Lord saw that, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? And you, that that's what happened to you in that time. The Lord, just because I told him, I said, it's skinny people out here who, who can't run as fast as me or you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because you skinny don't mean you healthy. Come. And just because you big don't mean you unhealthy. Come. All right? You know, it even speaks about that in uh in Daniel when they ate the pulse. He said, uh, I will not eat the king's meat. Let me and my men eat pulse for the next 10 days and see who has the uh, more countenance. And he said, the better countenance. After that, they skin was more fair. Clear, and they were, yeah. it, it said they were fatter in flesh, which don't mean fat, but they look healthier. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big dude, but I, I always say for the, I'm a pretty healthy big dude. You know what I'm saying? I try to eat well. I try to work out. I try to eat the herbs and the medicines. You know what I'm saying? So just because you big don't mean you unhealthy. Of course, I can always be better. But just because you big don't mean you unhealthy. Because when I was younger, man, growing up, uh, I never thought of myself as being fat right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I looked in the mirror, of course, you know, that's what it was. Right. But out and about, gym class, on the football field, mm -hmm. basketball court, I, I never felt that way. That's Always right. ran faster than most men. You feel me? Jumped higher than most men, mm -hmm. stronger than most men. That's the spirit of the Lord, too, that's man. That's the spirit. You know, because it's a lot of people who are, uh, you know, just got that lackadaisical, uh, lazy, slothful spirit. spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, it speaks about that in, I think, Sirach. It talks about a uh, slothful man. Come. All right? You know, when you got that lazy spirit, it's, it's no matter what health condition you in, man. Come. You know, you got people who in sh who look like they in shape, but lazy as hell, can't walk up a flight of stairs. Come. You know? But like you said, you were able to do all of that because you ain't thinking of yourself I, yeah, as that I way. Didn't really you able to do all that. these men can and more. Come. You know, hey, but I wanted to say real quick. I thought his ass was about to hit the camera. I was gonna flip out, and plus, you saw the eating my cops went by. They 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 chunked the deuce like say hi both times they went by, and uh, uh, I had a point to mention it. I can't remember, but you know they be seeing the, the destruction thing. Oh, but that, that's what I was gonna say. That's how you gotta know be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. You know what I'm saying? Because we could, you know, we could easily be like, hey, y'all eat my y'all going to enslave. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, hey, they going by saying hi. Don't be don't be so quick. To do foolish acts, man. You know what I'm saying? And now if they come up here and they they want to have a debate about the scriptures, we can go into that. Fine, we can do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we ain't go. You know, don't be stupid, man. You know you gotta be harmless. You gotta be wise, man. You gotta be wise about your actions. But um, yeah. Finish on that Ecclesiastes, then we'll get that Proverbs. You want to go to two? Uh, yeah, two, two. Ecclesiastes five verse two: Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before your howl. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh is in the heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. That's right. Let thy words be few, man. You know, 
man, these people be going out here and they just want to talk, 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 man. Like we always say, the Lord gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. All right. Hey, even that goes for us, too, man. You know what I'm saying? If I were to approach uh, another uh, great millstone camp, of course, they're going to greet me and, and with love. But you know what I'm saying? If it ain't your time to speak, shut your mouth, man, and listen. Because in, 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 throughout our lives and throughout this journey, we steadily trying to learn. We steadily trying to improve and become better men. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just heard, you know, each day I hear new scriptures, man. I'm like, all right, let me add that to the sword. Let me add that to the arsenal. And it's you know, always something you can so learn, like, man. You know, that's so funny because a lot of the, some of the precepts that you go into, I don't have them underlined. Come. But then I look at my book, I got like a whole bunch of, you know, precepts underlined. Come. But some of them, I might, I don't have all of them. That's right. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? And that's that's why we bounce off each other. You know what I'm saying? When you, you say scriptures that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. Let me, let me add that to the arsenal. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a new tool. It's a new skill. You know what I'm saying? It's a new part of your knowledge. You know, but people in the world, they don't do that, man. They just want to talk and let you know what they think about things huh. instead of giving you words out of the book. All right? Go ahead, brother. Oh, and by the way, it said, be not rash with thy mouth, man. Huh. You know? Go ahead. Go, go, go down three? Yeah, come. Okay. For a dream cometh through the multitude of busyness, mm -hmm. and a fool's voice is known by the multitude of words. That's right, man. So you, you know a fool's mouth because they just want to talk, talk, talk. They don't want to listen, man. Con. So that that's, those are uh, characteristics of a fool, man, Con. that can never shut his mouth, that never want to take time to take heed to the words. Con. All right, and not only our words, these are the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so we bring it to you out of the Bible. Con. You should want to shut up, man. Con. You should want to reverence that, but you don't want to listen, all right? So those, uh, it says, a fool is known by the multitude of his words. Uh, because you want to know why? Because I think the scriptures say when you're amongst, amongst elders or uh, you have to keep your words short. Let your words be few. Let your, but you <laughs> know, that, that takes thinking. And discipline. And discipline. <laughs> because now, if I have to make my words short, I have to think right, about right. how I need That's to right. you know, convey this message or whatever mm -hmm. I'm saying, whatever I'm thinking. And that takes thought. How the saying goes, think before you act or think before you or speak. speak. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a a, a lesson everybody should have got at a young age. But people don't got that, man. People speak before they think. I used to get smacked you know? across the head. Hell yeah! And, and it taught me. A, it taught me a uh -huh. lot. You got to now when I when I speak when I have to put my, make my point across. I use shorter words. But I, I use better words. That's to right. Get my point across. That's and right. It cuts deep. It cuts sharp. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right, man. You know, I I even speak brothers who I revere as elders. You know what I'm saying? And they, they tell me their experiences around the apostles, you know, and they still were like, you know, they, they shut up or they don't talk because they don't want to they don't want to say anything stupid or rash. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to You got to be wise in this thing, man. You got to have a certain level of discipline. You know, you see, they eat try to wine, you know, they eat try to wine. It's a hey, y'all. You can't go and punish, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, they, they think a wave is going to get them out of their judgment, trying to be nice to it. You know, you ain't fooling us, man. You know, but uh, go ahead, brother. I don't know if it's more on that. About foolishness or talking too much. Because I haven't seen it in a while. Nah, I don't know why. Huh, all right, go to, uh, what's the other one you was holding? Oh, man. Look at your finger. What's your finger on? That's what the, the little finger, brother. The what what's finger? that way? Oh, Proverbs. Yeah, there we go. Proverbs Salakia. 18. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Salakia. Uh, Salakia. <laughs> I knew it was something you was holding. Okay. Uh, 18 and 21. 18 and 21. Yeah, fine, Proverbs fine. 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See that? It says life and death and life are in the power of the tongue, man. Come, come. You know what I'm saying? So when, when we are here speaking, we're speaking life into the elect of Israel. We're Come. speaking life, send the sweet, savory sacrifices up into Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh All right? But also, death is in the tongue, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? So, people that, uh, hey, and tongue don't literally mean you got to speak it with your mouth. Typing on them damn keyboards and leaving comments, same thing. it's the same thing. Because all your tongue is doing is putting your thoughts in.